In the under 15 category, Vinduk Gymnasium claimed their third spot on the log on Saturday when they comfortably beat ACFAB by 2 0. Gymnasium now have 20 points, with a CBS topping the group with 23 points. Coach Benny from ACFA felt that his players did not put up a good game of football for their first game of the day. Uh, well, if I have to go back to, to last weekend or two weeks back, when I played CPS, they executed the game plan very well and then they were playing to their strength. So I don't know, my, my players sometimes they just want to decide which game they want to play and then they want to pitch up for the game, you know. And it was one of the games I, I could see that they, they were not uh, on, on par for me. You know, after the break, I told the guys, you know, guys, this game is just going to be a 1 0 game. And the first team to score now is going to win the game. So, right after halftime, we considered the game, the, the goal. So, it was, it was basically tough for us. It was a mountain to climb. So, we tried to dig deep to look for that goal. As we were trying to search for the goal, then they scored our second goal. That was like a killer blow for the boys. So, their heads dropped. So, I had to encourage them to keep on fighting, which I actually liked the spirit until the last, last, last minute. You know, uh, yeah, we've got one more game to go with around two, so I will in let them rest a bit. Okay, we'll stick together, let them rest, get some nutrients that they can maybe, and just some fruit, let them eat, and then take a rest. And then when you come back, it's, I think we're going to be a big, uh, a different team. Because now they saw, I told them, guys, this is a wake-up call for you guys. We want to uh, go through to the next round. So some games we win, some games we lose. So this one should be like a wake-up call for you guys. So it's for us now to dig deep and then to get the three points in the last game. We can't drop six points in one weekend. It's very much uh, not necessary for us. You know, uh, Rambler's tournament, it was something else. You know, to tournament football, we played uh, more or less like 25 minutes straight, one half. So the boys, I don't know, maybe they were fired up because of the tournament and you could see there was football. Yeah, we won the tournament, then I, I like it. But now, coming back to league where you have got two halves, like, I don't know, they were too relaxed. For me, I don't know, maybe the Saturday morning, they were too relaxed. We'll be still in that uh, weekend mode, yeah. Young boys developing. Uh, we started very slow, very, very slow. Very slow first half with a lot of errors. Uh, a lot of chances in the first half. Uh, we did not utilize them. Uh, we made a uh, few changes in the second half. Uh, those boys came to add value. We managed to score the first goal in the uh, second uh, minute of the second half. Uh, then we get another goal again. So the second half it was a little bit of good composure and good connection. Uh, the combination was there. Uh, yeah, so it was a great game. Uh, the AC side, they, I'm seeing they brought the uh, youngsters, they were very good to give them total respect. Ah, the motive is always one. You always want to go and win as a coach. Uh, it's a league. Points count at the end of the day. Uh, the first match we played against AC, we won them 3 2 in the first round. They gave us a good run. So yesterday we lost against Ramblers. 3-1 so but we said that if we have to lift up our heads and still be part of this league to be, to, to be a competitive team we need to come back with a win today so that we can tell both the moral and the table again so that the boys came up and they did the job I'm very happy with the performance especially the second half uh, there is only a few three things that we will do, uh, that we will have to go back to our own board trainings and just see what we can rectify. There is always room for improvement. Every game is always room for improvement.